Hey guys, uh, it's Friday. I haven't vlogged in a while and I really wanted to pick up my camera today so I thought I would vlog today and over the weekend. I just uh, scooted here. Um, I'm gonna leave my scooter to the salon. Uh, I have to pick up some skincare. Picked up my skincare. Now I'm gonna go. Oh, look at that. I didn't know it smells like spells had an actual shop. I love, love, love their candles. Look at this cutie as well. Today I'm wearing fourth and reckless trousers. I bought a set of shirts and trousers in the same material. I'm now off to the post office on Wakacha Street to ship out your orders because I've been making uh, beaded pieces like uh, chokers, anklets, bracelets every day now. I wasn't planning on selling them because I was just making them for myself but a few of you guys wanted to purchase them so I started making them for sale and uh, yeah you can message me on Instagram to buy them so I have some um, orders packed with me and now I'm gonna go to the post here and send them out. I have no idea why I didn't vlog these few weeks. I guess I wanted to have a little bit of a break from YouTube and filming everything and just enjoy the present moment. But at the same time, I kind of regret not having those moments on video. But anyway, I had a really good time. Uh, we've been in Vilnius for almost two weeks now, I think. And yeah, we've been having picnics with friends, evenings out, found some really great restaurants, bars, and yeah, just had lots of good times. So over the weekend, I vlogged to share some of the moments with you. And now I've shipped the orders. Rokas will join me in half an hour. And we were thinking of going to a bar with friends but we'll see if that's gonna happen because Carolus is not in the mood today, so... I bought a book by uh, Paula Collier here a couple of days ago and I'm gonna go in, have a little look, they close in like 40 minutes and then I'm gonna go grab a, an iced coffee <laughs> So this is another really cool bookshop that I always wanted to visit but haven't had a chance to go in yet but yeah they have such incredible books Wow So maybe next time now I'm going to Khurakhan to get some iced coffee and Rokas is coming over and I know this is not the end of the world but look what happened to my nail and it's annoying having one short nail when the rest of them are long. By the way, this manicure I absolutely loved and I kind of want to repeat it. Um, I'm going back to clip it in five days. So I'm gonna go have my nails done. Sunny, I'll show you what books I picked up. If you're looking for pre-loved books, come to Mint Pinato. It's a great bookshop and pretty good prices and the books are in great condition so yeah so I got three books my nail is gonna fall off at any moment now 
So I got No One Belongs Here More Than You Stories by Miranda July. This is a collection of short stories and it looked really promising. Then I got Fleshman is in Trouble. I've heard about this book. I've seen it everywhere online and yeah, when I spotted it, I thought I'll get it. It's about a family and then I think they're divorced. Yeah, a family that gets separated and um, at one moment uh, the man's wife doesn't return home. So she disappears basically. It sounds like Gone Girl to me, but we'll see. And then I got John Irving's uh, The Hotel New Hampshire. And yeah, my aunt is the biggest fan of this author and uh, I haven't read a single book by him and she always raves about him. So I'm gonna read it. She told me to read Cider's Home Rules first, but yeah, I saw this one for four euros. No, actually it was three and I thought I'll give it a go. So yeah, those are the three books that I got. I'm currently reading uh, Where the Crawdads Sing. I'm about 70 pages in and I'm only just now starting to enjoy the book. It was very difficult to get into at first and Linda just finished it a couple of days ago and she told me that she had the same trouble. She couldn't get into it like 50 pages in, but she said it gets better and it's really interesting actually. I I'm waiting for Rokas now and while we're waiting for him, let me show you uh, some other products. I, I love their serums and uh, their eye cream and ooh, hard to open. And I wanted a restock of those, but they also said that they would include uh, some new products. Ooh, softening foot cream with tea tree oil. I love uh, foot creams. For nighttime, so I'm gonna give this one a go. This one, Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This is the one that I really like. Kind of strange filming when people are walking around. Then this is eye makeup remover with castor oil. Okay, and the last product is Soothing Gentle Foaming Cleanser. I'm actually just running out of my oil cleanser. Castor oil is great for your eyelashes and I had an eyelash lift done which is the best thing ever. Oh my god I love it so much I don't need to curl my lashes every day and when I put mascara on they're just like ding. I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell because it's super sunny but yeah like I love how curled my lashes are now. Like they're not too too curled where they touch my eyebrow they're like n they look naturally curly and i love that so yeah um the technician told me to use castor oil on my lashes in the evenings so this will be like a great mascara remover with castor oil that will um hydrate my eyelashes because you need to hydrate them when uh, you get them curled because the treatment sort of dries out the hair. Oh, now I can talk about my beads. So yeah, these are the new ones. And as I said, you can DM me on Instagram and I'll answer and make any choker or an anklet or bracelet that you want, like any shade of the rainbow. In Lithuania, I shipped the orders in these baby blue envelopes. So this is one that I have to pop into a postal box. Uh, and uh, I keep the rest in this glossier bag, which Rokas makes fun of. He says it's like an old lady <laughs> bag. But yeah, the, I'm gonna show you some of the new... The, these are my personal ones that I wear. Like these ones are the most popular. Like different white beads, because they go with everything. Um, I also love this. It's like baby mint color like very light mint color and i love wearing these two together so this is an anklet i love this green shade and these are all made of semi-precious stones so they're extra sparkly and i haven't shared them on instagram yet but yeah look how gorgeous these are i made uh, this bracelet for Rokas. <laughs> he said it's so sparkly i cannot resist so he's wearing this bracelet and a black 
choker every day. But yeah, these are so stunning. Like I love this color especially because it's hard to tell. It's like a mix of blue and gray. Um, so yeah, that's fun. Gonna enjoy my coffee now. day I have to admit I'm a pretty bad vlogger I forgot that I was doing that um, no I actually didn't we just had some family time it was Rocco's cousin's baby christening yeah, anyway it's one of the busiest uh, streets Vilnius street in Vilnius so I was a little awkward vlogging but yeah I had uh, some family time so Here people really stare at you when you're filming yourself, so I feel super awkward. Uh, I don't care when I'm traveling, or not as much in Klaipeda as well, but here it's a little different situation. So yeah, I'll try to vlog some more today, but we're supposed to be staying home today. Uh, I'm just running some errands, needed to ship some orders, and yada yada yada, so I'm up. I'm actually going to Mango now. I quite like these heels, but they're a purple color, so I'm not sure how much wear I would get out of them, but I'm gonna try them on anyway. And I was looking for a black silky skirt, so I'm gonna try it on. Okay, I'm kind of tempted by the shoes. They have a teeny tiny heel. My hair is a mess. Um, so I didn't get the floral bag from Mango because I thought I actually don't need it. This bag is the best purchase, this one from Zara. I wear it all the time, so I thought because I wear this bag always, why do I need a new one? Um, but I did get this beautiful floral tote for my mother-in-law. Not sure if I can call Rokas mom my mother-in-law yet but anyway she was looking for a tote bag and i saw this one in tiger and i fell in love with it i said i didn't get anything at mango but that was a lie i got these gold hoops um for every day because they look cute and i also got these bracelets it's costume jewelry so both of these will tarnish but I like how they look and these bracelets have a little clasp and I, I really like mixing gold with silver um, I think silver makes the jewelry more casual sort of every day so I'm off to the flower market to buy flowers for Daka sister and I'll show you the bouquet that I get so this is the bouquet that I made, her favorite color is blue, so hoping she will like it. Nothing sparks as much joy in me as flowers. Lopez is stealing my clothes. I'm wearing the bracelet on top of the shirt today.
so um, we're back from Vilnius and um, we're staying at my parents in the countryside for the weekend and yeah I'm gonna vlog a little bit what we're up to because um, we'll go to the beach a lot these days and we're currently at the beach as you can see and I'm reading where the crawdads sing yeah I cannot say I'm loving the book um, 88 pages in. I will film what we get up to, but it will be a chill couple of days. Lots of nature in the vlog, and um, the beach is full of people. Rakas and I are sunbathing. He burned his skin yesterday, so we are in the shade now. We have a beach umbrella. I think that's it. That's all I can update you on now. I want to show you my current favorite summer look um, it's easy breezy just flowy fabrics white trousers uh, shirts and tank tops it's like all I wear during the summer wet hair because who has the time to dry their hair in the summer and I want to show you how I style this look with um, Daniel Wellington pieces. I'm wearing silver rings and a silver watch because I think it just looks very fresh in the summer and looks great with black and white. You can get 15% off uh, on any watch or accessory on their website using my coupon code Chanelette. And if you purchase anything uh, for up to 199 euros, you will get up to 20% off which is great. So enjoy the offer for the summer and let's inspire each other. I'm going to pick fresh spring onion. Dorian is here in the garden because Rakas and I are making shelteborshi. Dorian had a haircut today. I trimmed his hair so he's looking nice and fresh. Okay, let's pick some onion. This is what I've picked. This is my grandmother's garden, actually. Look at all the strawberries and peas. And the tomatoes are still green. <laughs> No ripe ones yet. So, yeah. They're getting more and more blue every day. And the roses here. Look at that. Wow. It's a very sunny evening. Look at that. How beautiful is that? Wow. Here's Louis if you've missed him. <laughs> What's this, baby? What's this? <laughs> Lucas is making the soup. We're cooking and watching football match. Switzerland against Spain. Okay, the master came to help us out with the fire because I was struggling. Look at these two. Have been through some patch? Yes. Look at the sunset. So beautiful. The 
Ayan na. Mana? Look at the... Thank you, Cam. Cam, Cam. Shintos. Shintos, Cam. stopped uh, by the road on my way to my parents and picked these wildflowers they're so beautiful but my mom's lavender is taking up the garden we are picking linden flower for winter for tea when we get sick show you guys how I make iced coffee so it's the best for summer so I take any um, instant coffee and two tablespoons of it like so the one I'm using is Nescafe um, but yeah like any instant coffee will do then add a little bit of sugar using brown sugar rakas wants it a little sweeter this time so i'll use some more sugar add a little bit of water then take your whisk and you have to whisk it uh, you can do it by hand until it's all fluffy so your coffee has to look like whipped cream Okay, then add some ice cubes and pour some milk. Like so, you can use oat milk, almond milk, any milk that you drink. Then take spoonfuls like this of coffee and plop it in here. And that's it. Coffee is done. Just have to mix everything and yeah it's so good so give it a go guys love it for summer we're having wrestling tournament with rockers <laughs>
headed to the beach again. Full of sun creams, snacks, books. Yeah. Heading to the beach with my parents, but then Rakas and I will stay there until lunch, I guess. Look how full the beach is. I wanted to do an outro for the vlog <laughs> so we are back to the beach scene but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and i'll see you in another one bye